Hi folks, this is Rose from In Rose's Garden and today we are going to work on a couple of hair barrettes. Now I've got six designed, but we're only going to work on two of them right now. So let's turn down and we'll get started. None of these pieces are from any kits. Well, I take that back. I found the ring that was in about two months back's FOC from Thunder Horse to Senate. We're going to use that on one of them. So let's turn down and we'll get to work. So each of these little baggies has one hair barrette for pieces in it. And this one has got frogs. And this one has got a dragon, some roses. So these are our pieces. And what we're going to do here with this one is we're going to take our big piece here. It's going to go in the middle. And then we have these two black pieces. They're going to go down either side. Like, it's going to end up being about like so. Got to make sure we've got them wide enough to cover up cover our barrette. That's the way it'll be is about right there. Then this ring is going to go in here like so with our little dragon going in the middle. Then we've got, well, actually I think we had these like this, and then we have these copper pieces on the ends to make sure we've got our hair barrette covered. Then we're going to put the larger roses on the top, like so, and these little smaller ones with the sprig will go like here. Now the first thing we wanna do for this one is we wanna cut all these rings off. We don't need the rings, they just are in a way. We'll cut them off. Oh, come on, you. And lastly, our dragons. We'll take our file and we'll file some of those rough edges off. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is we want to get out our, this is a bracelet bender, but I use this, these to bend my pieces here too. So the first one is the one that will go down first. Then we will take it and conform it more to our 
Brett blank. See how we've got a big gap through the middle there? We don't want that. We want it to be pretty evenly down. There we go. So that is our middle piece. Then we will get our sides. These are going to be pretty close to here. Okay, we want it to be about where we bent it, so that's looking pretty good. That's going to go over the top of this. Then our little copper one on this piece probably won't need very much wiggling at all. Just a teeny touch downward. good. Now let's work on the other side. I think that's too much. We'll see here in just a minute. Oh, not too bad. So we'll just leave it be. It's good. And then our copper will again just needs just a teeny touch, which I'm going to just do with my finger. So there we go. Now we need to see about this piece. I think if it needs bending at all, it's not going to be very much. Let's put these to the side. We're going to see how this sits on this. Let's flip it over and see if it's more flat that way. It's pretty close, but we may want to bend it just a bit. Nope, it's better the other way. Okay. Now our little dragon will probably need just a teeny touch of bend. Maybe not much. Yeah, just a teeny weeny touch. So we'll put him right in the middle. And it's just his wings probably need to turn down just a hair's breadth. So that's good. He's going to sit inside there. The roses are probably fine. Yep. And maybe these guys even, but I'm not sure about them. They may need a little teeny touch of bend, but I think they're going to be all right. So the first thing we want to do is get our glue out. And... I'm not overly fond of this kind of cap for these. Oh, well, it's stuck, so it's on there pretty good. That's why I don't like that kind of cap. We've got a plug of glue right here because it doesn't seal. 
exceptionally well. And so it gets plugged here. So this is one of the tips that come with these jewelry style ones. And I re rarely use them for this, but I do use it for cleaning out my uh, cap when it gets plugged. Okay, I fold it in over now. It's coming out. So this uh, piece only goes... It's not coming out very well, though. About from here to here. So we will bring this one up and sort of fit it into place. And as you can see, it is pulled up a little bit from the bar, but that's all right. We'll get it working in just a minute. Then we need to do the black. So the black is going to go like so. So we'll need it to go onto the here. And the same on this other side. So about right up to here. Now we're going to put our little diamond on the ends here. I'm going to see how they're looking back in the back half. It looks pretty good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out some little clothes pins and we're going to hook all these pieces down. Now a barrette tends to be like a two or three part um, making because these pieces now are going to have to dry for a little while until we're ready to put the next step on. This one moved a little so we want to move, get it back into place. There we go. Now we're going to sit this up here where my little dragon is sitting here. And we're going to let this one dry for a while. And then we'll go on to the next one in the meantime. This is the one we want. Is Got frogs and dragonflies. 
So these, come on babies, come loose. I had debated painting these a blue or something and then I didn't do it. So they'll go on either end like so, right butting up against each other. Come on little guys, get out of the way. And then we'll put this one on top. Let me put it like this. Then this guy's aren't going to go on to this big flower here. One of the frogs down on either side here. And here. And here. And you know what? I think I do want to paint these these pieces here, the background pieces. Um, to I'm going to alcohol ink them to a to a bluish color. So let's put this set away, and we will work on one of the other sets ones I have here because I don't want to take the time to do that inking right yet. So we will. Take that off. Now I've got two mediums and a, let's just work on one of the mediums here. This is one of my mediums. And it's going to have this gold one over the top of these two black. Bing. This pretty little horse is going to go in the middle here with a flower on either side with a leaf for its flower. Now the flower does have a loop that needs to be cut off, but that won't take me but a moment. So, I should say a circle, not a leaf, duh. So, going to start bending these pieces. The flowers won't need any bending, but the leaves and the horse, as well as the uh, three base pieces, will need to be bent. So this one is going to be on the in the middle. It's going to go over the top of those two pieces, unlike this one where I let those go over the top. So that looks like it's pretty good right there. Well, it's lifting up some, so let's see if we can Get her just a little bit more bent. That's good. Now these two. That's good.
Okay. So there's that. Now the horse will need quite a bit of bending because he's the biggest thing here and it's going to be right on to down. Looks like it still needs to bend some. Okie dokie, I think all the bins are in here, so we can get the base pieces put together, and then we can get the little pieces put on in a little bit. So let's get glue out. Ugh. And we will put glue all the way across the bar this time because we're going to start by putting the black ones on. So we put the black ones on. to come over here just a little bit more okay then we will put a glue on two wing like pieces right here on this side right in here and over here that down on to our piece. So now that we have those pieces on and we're pretty sure we got it where we want, then we want to pin this one down.
Now it's time for this one to sit up here and dry. And we will go over to this one, check how it's doing. Seems pretty set on the end there. Okay. There is our base piece. Now at this time, if you wanted to, you could, um, if there's any excess glue sitting around, you can always clean it up with a pair of tweezers. There is a little bit right here and here. So now we want to put our pieces on. So we'll get this glued here. We'll just put some glue on our ring and put it down. Okay, get, make sure it's pretty centered, which it seems to be there. Then we're going to put the glue on our little dragon here. Drop him right down in the middle and then get him in place. Now I got a little glue on my hand with that one, so I imagine I will get have to clean a little bit off of that one. So now we go with our big red roses. You want to get it in the whole rose. Pop it down on one side. Turn it so you've got it the way you want it. Right there. Now we'll do the other one as well. And now our little tiny ones here. There we go. Now this one has to dry a little bit and then we will probably come back and clean it up some and then it will have to sit for 24 hours to finish drying. Now the horse one hasn't sat long enough to um, be ready to have its horse its stuff sat on um, put on yet or have the clips off so we're going to need to let that sit for a wee bit.
Okay, let's check to see if this is ready. I did pull a couple of glue gobs off and they come out, came out off pretty easily. Okay, that's good. Feels all right. Looks like it wants to pull up a little on this side. So we may need to pin it for a while longer. Same with this side on the other side of this one. I'm wondering if I sort of if I got the wrong clips on there. But in the meantime, while that's we can pick off a couple of these little globs of glue that are well, it looks like, oh, that one is coming up. This is not good. I was thinking we could put the horse on now, but this one wants to pull up. So we're going to let have to hook it back in and let it dry for a little longer. Unfortunately... Oh. A little extra glue right there. Okay. So this one is finished entirely. This one Well, let's see if we can get the pull these up without the piece popping back up again like it did. It's better. So Let's get our the glue on our horse. Get it in place. Come on, horsey. Leg is still up a little higher than I like it there. So may, we may want to try and see if we can get it to bend back down just a tiny bit more maybe from the hip that's better so there's our horse on there gotta glue him in Now our horse is going to go down like so. Looks 
like he had a lot of extra slag there. We'll see if that sucks under as it starts to dry. But in the meantime, we're going to put our two flowers on and our two leaves. The flowers are going to be up here towards the top. Now this leaf will go like so. And the other one will go over here on this side. So let's get those glued on. There we go. Now our parts are all glued together and we just have to let them dry for a little bit longer until they are set somewhat. This one is got to have a little bit taken off um, by the roses, I think. Like right here, looks a little overly shiny in a few spots, which is generally where the glue is sitting. And I think I'm going to leave the rest of the excess glue on there because it's not really hurting anything. So this one is finished. This one is a large one. And then the medium here still has to dry a bit. Now, even though we're done with this one is finished, this one has to dry a little bit before I can take off um, the excess glue. You want to let it dry like 15 to 20 minutes so that when it pulls off it just sort of yanks up. If you wait too long it won't come up. If you do it too, try to do it too soon the glue is still too wet and it'll just make a gloppy mess. So we'll wait for about 15 minutes and then when I come back we will pull the excess glue off the horse. Okay, I think this is probably ready to check now. We do have a little extra right here. Here's the stringer. See about this horse's leg. Still a little damper than I would like, but it's workable. There we go. 
Okay. I think that will do. So there is our horse finished, medium, and our dragon for our large. And there are our beautiful, beautiful hair barrettes. Now they have to sit up for 24 hours till they dry, and then they are ready to go in your hair. So let's turn up. Here we are again. This is our large. And this is our medium. Again, our large. And our medium and now these need to be put up to dry for 24 hours and as soon as our 24 hours are done those are ready to go and they are so pretty I hope you enjoyed making these with me this has been Rose from in Rose's garden and we have been making some hair barrettes we'll see you later bye bye